Hi, this is Jason Bogue, the editor of Media Bistro's publishing blog, Galley Cat, and this is Media Beat, Media Bistro's video interview show. We're here today with Johnny Temple, the founder of Akashic Books. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning. Glad to be here. Um, it's really exciting to have you on the show, and, and the one thing I wanted to talk about now today is focus on the authors. What, what makes an Akashic author? We often say at Akashic we don't just publish books, we publish authors. And what we mean by that is that the author's personality um, and their life outside of literature is actually very, very important to us. We collaborate a lot with our authors, not just on the editorial process, but you know, on book design and on promotion, every, every step along the way. So we really need to be able to engage on various levels with them. And we also need our authors to represent us well to the world. If we're very interested in a book, we're very cautious about who the author is. You know, we don't really care if your book is going to sell, you know, be a huge seller. If you're going to be a jerk to us and the people around us in the process, we don't want to work with you. So that's one common thread is that if you look at our list of authors, you're not just seeing great authors, you're seeing really great people. Cool. What, uh, do, do you have any advice for writers, maybe someone in the audience that was thinking about reaching out to Akashic? What, what's your advice for the aspiring authors? Well, my, my, my best piece of advice, all of us book publishers these days are um, inundated with submissions. So many people are writing and that they're, like I, like I said in the last segment, that there's a great diversity of voices being published. But the flip side of that is that, is that it's, it's, it's crowded. And so I think that the best way to reach Akashic or really any publishing company or any literary agent for that matter is to do a end around and find someone who we know and who we trust to recommend you. Okay. That's, the, there's the standard submission process, but if Nina Ravor, our beloved author, sends me an email saying, I just read this debut novel by this wonderful young woman, you got to read it, that book will shoot up to the top of our slush pile and will get read very quickly. So we rely, traditional publishers rely a lot on literary agents. And we do work with agents, and there's some wonderful agents that we do good work with. But we also find a lot of authors sort of directly. Authors don't need agents to submit to us. But we do like to connect with authors on a one-to-one on -a -one direct level, in addition to working through agents. Well, finally, uh, I, I think that that glut that you're talking about, this this very full marketplace that we have, I think it leaves a lot of writers depressed and sort of anxious and lost. What do you say to the people that are out there writing but feel kind of swamped and overwhelmed by this whole situation? I mean, I think that the biggest challenge for a writer is to really stay focused on the craft. Um, if your work, if you get your work good enough, it's gonna it's gonna rise. If your work is top notch, everything else is gonna become a whole lot easier. But, uh, but one, one of the other thing that I would say is that it's crucial for writers to be involved in a, in a community of other writers. Whether it's a virtual community or even better, a living, breathing community, going, going out to readings, um, spending time with writers, being in writers groups. I think it's so hard to be a writer because you're so isolated and your work and your creativity, unlike when I was playing in a rock band, we had a lot of challenges. But on a creative level, there were four of us. And that's a lot different than being a writer. And so I think that for writers, it, it really does help to be part of a community. You're less alone. There's more ideas floating around. And also, there's a lot to be said for being at the right place at, at the right time. So if you're completely isolated, you're really minimizing your chances for something good to come your way. And, and I find that sometimes the best things that have happened to me like starting a book publishing company, are things that I ne never specifically set out to do. It was just a sort of constellation of fortunate events lining up. That's a great place to conclude. This is our second installment of Media Beat with Johnny Temple, the founder of Akashic Books. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with the final installment. We'll talk about the art of book selling and uh, the evolving art of book selling. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks Thank again. You.